Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays everyone! NDTV here with another update video. It's Christmas like I just said and that means it's my anniversary video of making run-throughs. To be specific it's when I uploaded the intro video to my Twilight Princess run-through. And also it's when I started making vlogs which was last year but eh, there's there's another video for that later on. But yeah, it's been a fun three years making videos, and I really just want to say thanks to everyone that's watching, even though, like, I know my fan base isn't really that big, but I still appreciate every single one that watches my videos. And since it's been a year since the last time I made a video like this, I think it's time to reflect on what's happened in the past year. I mean, I finished my first Let's Play, which is of Mother 3, which is tied for my favorite game. And that was very fun to do. And I also finished my Let's Play of Pokemon Yellow. That was very fun as well. I enjoyed pretty much every minute of Pokemon Yellow and Mother 3. Then, Let's Play number 3. That one was very different. It was a blind Let's Play of No More Heroes. And it was very fun. I... I let's play that game because one of my friends from school, who's been on the vlog a few times, he recommended that I get the game, and then he told me that I should record it blind. So I did that, and it was very, very fun. It was an experience I probably won't remember, or probably won't forget. And that's why later on in life I'm going to be let's playing the sequel blind as well. And then there's my Let's Play of Link to the Past, which I finished yesterday, and that was fun too. I mean, I went a little bit above when it comes to editing in terms of my videos in general, because, I don't know, the little thingy I had whenever pieces of hearts were obtained that showed up, that took quite a bit of time to make, actually. But... Yeah, even though uh, Link to the Past was a bit more edited than, say, Pokemon Yellow, it was still very fun, and I still think uh, Mother 3 was probably the one I spent the most time when it comes to editing. And then, and yeah, I also just started Pokemon Crystal. I'm really looking forward to how that's going to turn out, because Pokemon Crystal is another good Pokemon game, and it's probably going to be a long one because there's a lot to do in Pokemon Crystal compared to Pokemon Yellow, but it's going to be fun, I can tell. And now that that's done, it's time to thank people because thanking people is always a good thing to do. Now first off, out of the people I want to thank, there's the Gaming Guru 51 he's one of my closest friends in real life, because... I've known him since 2005, but yeah, he's been a real good help when it comes to my videos and just in general. He's he's a really nice guy and he he puts a lot of effort into his videos. So check out his channel and whatnot. But yeah, he is a really cool person and I'm really glad that he's one of my friends. Then there's MTM558 or Matt as we call him sometimes, or no, we call him MTM558 sometimes, we call him Matt most of the time, but yeah, he's another one of my closest friends, and I have known him probably the longest out of all of my friends I have, but he is a, he's a really nice person as well, and he's he hasn't been in any of my videos this year, has he, other than vlogs, but yeah, he is, he knows a lot about things that he's really interested in. And it's really just fun hanging out with him in general. Okay, next up on the list of people to thank is Antroxia. Or Anthony. Another one of my closest friends in real life. He's... He's a DJ. And he makes music as well. And he is a really cool person. He hasn't been in any of my videos at all, but... It's really just... yeah, It's really interesting hanging out with him. And I just want to thank him for just being my friend. 
Next up is the prodigal son of Sony. Another one of my close friends. He... He is very... Mm, strange. But, that's what makes him unique. I mean, his tastes are a lot different than most people. I mean, he prefers music from, like, early 1900s, which you don't really see that much, but... Yeah, and also, I worked with him in his channel to do some projects like Silent Hill and whatnot for his Full House stuff. And that, it's really fun working with him. And I can't wait to just work with him in other projects in the future. He's probably going to be in my channel as well. I mean, he was back in the run-through days. And then, next up, there's Gamer Catnip, or the female Jamie. She is another cool person. She's done a lot of blind stuff on her channel. I mean, she doesn't update that much, but I can understand that because she's busy with her own things like school and whatnot. But having her in the New Super Mario Brothers videos on the Game Group 5 Ones channel and the Mario Party 8 videos, that was very fun. And you should check out her channel because she does some pretty interesting blind Let's Plays. And then next up are people from the Super Mario 64 Elimination Crew. The Super Mario 64 Elimination Project was one where Concave Jelly gathered seven other people, so it was eight people in total, and we raced through Mario 64, and people would be eliminated along the way if they didn't reach certain checkpoints. The project was cancelled, which is a shame, even though I lost in the third episode, the project was cancelled because Concave Jelly just didn't have the time or something like that. But yeah, I want to thank him, Concave Jelly or Oscar, for bringing all of us together. Because these people that I met in the Super Mario 64 Elimination Challenge, they are some pretty cool people. So thank you again, Oscar. Next up is NoobKiller740, or Bryant as I know him as. Um, mm, he asked me to read Metroid High, <laughs> so I don't know how I should feel about that, but he he's a pretty cool person too. He has been in one of my videos, and we're kind of working on a blind race of the Oracle games, just we haven't had time to work on those, but I'm really looking forward to the next episode we record. I mean, we recorded episode 2 before, but stuff happened. So we have to redo that. But yeah, very interesting. And he's a really cool person. So again, check out his channel as well. All of these channels that I listed, they're going to be down in the description, maybe. Or there's probably just going to be something popping up on the screen. But yeah. Next up on the list of people to thank is... Salmon's 100. Again, he's a person that I met through Super Mario 64 Elimination. He's like the way he plays games is a bit similar to mine. I mean, he tries to do a lot of cool things. I mean, he's doing Chrono Trigger Blind right now, and I'm actually watching that. And although there are some moments where I just call him an idiot, it's still really interesting to watch. And he also. He helped out in some of my projects. I mean, he voiced a character in Mother 3, and he voiced a character in Link to the Past. So, again, I have to thank him for that, and he's just a cool person in general. Next up is M. Osborne or Matt. He's another Matt, I know. Weird. But, yeah, he is a cool person as well. He is going through Emerald Blind right now, I believe. And although I don't talk to him as much as I do to Salmons or Bryant, he is he's a pretty interesting person and he he wasn't eliminated in Super Mario 64 elimination, was he? None of the people I mentioned were, except for Bryant. Poor Bryant. But yeah, M. Osborne, he is a pretty interesting fellow, and I hope to have him some point in one of my videos. Because it'd be pretty fun. And then next up on my list of people to th thank. 
Okay, so I'm done with people I could think of to thank that I know. So now I'm just gonna thank the people that inspired me to make videos. So first off, it's gonna be Spirit of Steel or All Eyes and Spirit or Giant Sauce or whatever you wanna call him. I mean, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't have found run throughs and let's plays and whatnot. So yeah. And I really enjoyed his style of videos when he was making videos. I mean, he's somewhere in the internet right now, and maybe one day he can go back to making videos. Maybe? Maybe? But yeah, I have to thank him because if, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be making videos and having so much fun. Next up on the list of people to thank is Chugga Conroy. He is a really, really good Let's Player, and from what I can see in some videos that he's been in, He's really generous and a really nice person, and he's just, like, the effort he puts into his videos is amazing, and I aspire to put as much effort as he does, even though that might not happen. I mean, and he is per in terms of editing, he's probably the person I look up to when it comes to making videos, so that is one big reason to thank him and just as I appreciate the work he does in general because it's not easy making videos the way he does so yeah thank you again and next up on my list of people to thank that inspire me are Slowflake and the people of Fire Monkey Technology thank them again no I thanked them last year but Slowflake even though he retired from LPs He's, his LPs are pretty good. I mean, I still consider his Pokemon Let's Plays the best Pokemon Let's Plays out there. And my style of Let's Playing Pokemon games kind of reflects on that because my style, I try to be similar to him. Try. So yeah, Slowflake, even though he's not making LPs anymore, I mean... I still see him on Fire Monkey Technology as well as all the other cool people there. So yeah, thanks to them as well. And then next up on my list of people to thank is Steven George. He is the guy that runs both Steven Plays and Steven Vlog. I mean, he's the reason I start, or yeah, he's the reason I started vlogging, and that was very fun to do. Vlogging is fun, and I'm still doing it, so yeah, my vlogging style is similar to his, and his Let's Plays are really good too. I've seen some of them, and I plan to watch most of them, if not all of them, and I really have to commend him for how much effort he puts into his videos. I mean, in, he puts at most about 80 videos a month, and that is amazing. I mean, there things happen and they delay some of his videos and I understand that but it doesn't matter when you take into account how much work he does cuz he deserves a break every once in a while and his videos are just really really good and he inspires me to make videos just as good so now that I'm pretty much out of people to thank. I just want to say that I'm really looking forward to next year, or just this year in general. So yeah, and also I, I'm, I save this for the end, yay, but I am going to be announcing my next project. It's going to be alongside Crystal f for the moment until Crystal is finished. I am making a Let's Play of Twilight Princess. And I'm going to have the intro video uploaded today as well. Now the reason I'm doing a Let's Play, even though I already did a run through of Twilight Princess, well, I really wanted to play Twilight Princess again and just record it. And I thought to myself, you know what, instead of doing the GameCube version, I could do the Wii version. And yeah, so the Let's Play of Twilight Princess is pretty much a redux of the run through. It's going to be more heavily edited than the run-through was and there's gonna be moments where I poke fun at myself sure but I'm just really looking forward to playing the game again and I hope you guys enjoy it too so yeah like I said the intro video is going to be posted today yeah 
So, now that that's done, and I made that announcement, and I also thank all of those wonderful people. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, or a Happy Holiday, or whatever you celebrate. You might not even celebrate anything, just have a wonderful day, and let's make this next year of making videos just as great, if not greater. Later!